What's up, baddies? Welcome to Hubby Day. Where no topic is off the table. Today we're gonna play my favorite game. I was gonna say ours, but I don't think it's Ahmed's favorite game yet. But it's called We're Not Really Strangers. So this is this little red box we have over here. This is the general game, but because I'm obsessed with this whole vibe. We bought the relationship expansion pack. They have different like expansion packs for the game. Well, today we're gonna pull some cards. Ahmed's laughing because I think he's traumatized by this game. <laughs> the game is really good. Like when he plays it, I know he actually really enjoys it, but... It's a good game. <laughs> it makes him get a little more personal than he usually likes to get, but... Yeah. We've actually never played this, um... The this... relationship one? No. I don't Probably. think we have. Right. Okay. You wanna pull a card? Yeah, I'll ask you So first. we're gonna pull the card, see if we like it. Because <laughs> that's how Arabs right. play. No, I don't want to do that. You this, is, this is the card. This is it. Do you think my job affects me positively or negatively? Wow. How does it affect us? Wow. Whoa. I'm going to choose the, the real job. So acting. Okay. The, the real job. So I had to spin off because Ahmed worked in consulting. Yep. I am a management consultant. Um, and he's a working actor. And I'm a working actor. And, and I, I do cracking, balance both. I was cracking a joke because Arabs would call his other his consulting job the real job, but I call acting the real job. I think it totally affects him only positively. Like only positively because it's a career where you have to stay on your toes physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, like especially spiritually. And I think I'm very grateful for that career because Ahmed constantly is aware of God and that there's there's a greater power kind of working on things in his life. I don't think our relationship would be a thing if Ahmed didn't kind of relinquish that control to something greater. So I think individually, as a person, it keeps him in tip-top shape. It keeps him mentally strong. It makes him want to read in the morning. Like things that like really make me better. How does it affect us? I think it affects us mostly positively. I would say it's like a 90%. It's a completely like crazy industry. You hear stories, you see things on TV. It's just like wild. The kinds of things that you would think are part of being with an actor. I haven't seen any of that being with him, but there is still that anxiety. The other 5% that is real life is the lack of predictability around scheduling it's just not my personality to not know what's happening like the next day even okay like we've had so many stories where Ahmed got a call like we need to fly you out tomorrow or even worse like we need to fly you out in two hours and every single time except for recently I've just started crying because that's <laughs> that's my reaction to like change being thrown on me and I will say recently, I have just kind of tried to embrace like the unknown and once you like remove that attachment to control and predictability, which I still have an attachment to, you realize it's just really fun. Like we went on a day trip to LA one time and it was the best trip ever. It was just one day trip to LA. This was before we moved here. I was still in Michigan, but I definitely cried before getting on the airplane because I'm like, I can't believe this guy's life is like this. Like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But I'm glad you're getting, uh, I don't want to say used to it, but like you're taking. Don't take that as a sign. No sign. To go book in more plays. No signs. You don't need any signs. Look how she puts wow. the card back and picks another one. No, okay, no, I didn't. I didn't even pull one. I just hadn't, didn't find one. I like this one. Okay. How do I show that I love you without telling you? Hmm. I, I just don't know where to start. I, I don't know where to start. First of all, all the words of affirmation, that means a lot to me. That's what? That's not I love you. No, like you're doing a good job. I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. You're incredible. You're psychotic. Like I, like, I like that. He likes psychotic. I don't mean it in an offensive way. Like he wants me to tell him that he's like not normal and just like. Yeah, like insane. when I do stuff that's, and then you actually like, like, like this, we'll do like, like two back crazy. to back orange theory workouts, which to me is psychotic. Yeah, like I like that. Yeah. And then also when you um, get me coffee in the morning, like I like that. Like every morning, mm -hmm. coffee. Like, and I, I don't take it for granted, mm -hmm. but it's like, it's just, when it shows up, I'm like, ah, oh, yes. 
mm, my day's late. You know, there's that. Yeah. And then there's um. Uh, like how you just take care of, of the food situation. Yeah. So I don't cook. She doesn't cook, but okay, but, but but what's my role in the house? I don't like. What, what Chief is, logistics and operations yeah, officer. Yeah, you gave me some like fancy roles. Like, Ahmed gave it to me added to try to make me feel special. That's what they teach him in the consulting world. Is you just put like a fancy name on it. Yeah. And people feel important. So Chief of household operations. Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> that's right. So yeah, she made sure that we have food ordered. And when I say food ordered, it's like it's fresh new meals. Yeah. So it's, it's healthy packaged meals, and then Hello Fresh orders. Those are they send us all the ingredients, and then we make the food. Yeah, subscribe. that's fun. We like, like half the time, I would say half the time he cooks, but it's really like 60% of the time. But even the 40% of the time that I cook, so like when you're prepping, micromanages me. I don't ever get to really cook it. He just kind of like, but I like, I enjoy when you actually I help me and prep the veggies yeah. and get it all ready for me. Yeah. Yeah, so we love it. Exactly. I love you. I love you too. So do you want to pick a card now? Yeah. Okay. What's the most attractive thing I do without realizing it? Wow. I like this one. This is a good game. This is a, huh? I yeah, told it's you good. it's a good game. What is the most attractive thing that you do without realizing it? Okay. I really want him to do more of this. So we're, I really love when you talk in Arabic to me. Like on accident. Like sometimes, like it's funny because you would think he's a, Ahmed's a boater. Like Ahmed was born and raised in Ghana and then moved to Lebanon. Like Ahmed's first language, your first language is Arabic. It's pidgin English. Pidgin, okay, and Arabic. Yeah. Hand in hand, I would school. say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like English is his third language, you guys, but he speaks English 99% of the time now with me. And like you think you're gonna marry this Lebanese guy that <laughs> was raised in Lebanon, he's gonna sing you Arabic songs and like talk to you in Arabic. He doesn't do any of that. Like the wrong dude. <laughs> <laughs> But sometimes, like sometimes it's like he'll instinctively like say something to me in Arabic, even if it's like the most logistical thing, it doesn't need to be like. But then you respond in English. So I'm gonna have to continue the conversation no, in English. No, I love when you talk to me in Arabic. I think it's so hot. Like when you like randomly like say something in Arabic. I like it. Okay, good. Good job. That was a good one. Okay. Well, that's easy. I can do that. I'm not doing this one. See? It was stupid. What song best describes our relationship? You can answer that later. But I can. I like this one. Have I helped you change your mind about anything? Yeah, yeah I think you have. Okay. I think um, before this relationship, before even getting my citizenship, before even getting my green card when I was an H-1B worker, uh, I was an OPT, CP, like all these things international students have to go through to gain employment authorization in the U.S., to gain a green card, to just to just be able to live in the U.S., I felt like I always have to be in full control of everything mm. uh, of my life. Mm. And you know, even after I got my citizenship, and I'm like, okay, I'm chilling now. I'm, I still feel like I'm a control freak on a lot of things in my life until I met you. Mm. That's when I started to kind of realize, like, just why am I sweating the small stuff? Like, I just need to just let go. Just there's a lot of things I just let go anymore. I don't even care about. I don't even worry about. Like what? Ugh. I'm just trying to understand how I taught him this because I'm a control freak and I don't let go of things, like little, little things. So what? Like what do you mean? If some people don't like me, oh, okay. I don't need to be friends with them. Right. If people make some sort of comments on wherever, whatever platform, yeah, I don't have to read it. I don't have to care about it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we talk about tradition, like you know, like a previous episode, traditions in Lebanon. Right. Like men are supposed to do this and be like this. And that. Nah, bro. I'm Ahmed. I'm me. I'm gonna do what I feel is right. Yeah. So. I love that. Thanks. That's it. That makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. I helped you kind of like gain better perspective. Yeah. Yeah. This is how how to play. I'm sorry. These are our rules. It's a bad stereotype. No, it's not. We a bad follow stereotype. rules. We follow rules. Isn't that you just told them rules are fabricated last episode? Order. No, we don't follow order. You just but order. Ooh. Period. Do that. Okay. 
Here, I'll do this. What fear do you think holds me back the most? I have to think about this because you don't have a lot of Oh, this is me. Say it again. Wait, say, wasn't say, mine? Say, no, no, say it again. What did you say? What? You don't have a lot of fears. No, but he has some. He just doesn't have the normal fears that a lot of other people do. What fear holds you back the most? What fear holds you back the most? That's a tough one. No, there is one. I just can't. I have to find it. Hold on. Um, Keep digging. Mm -hmm. They ain't got all day. I'm just saying. Okay, so there's this fear. Oh my God, you you guys. I totally played on this fear one time. I'll tell you the story. But Ahmed has a fear of being average. It's like he's, <laughs> he's going to cry right now, okay? <laughs> so last year, I was trying to do 75 hard, which if you haven't heard of it, it's the dumbest thing. Honestly, don't even do it. But basically, it's, not dumb. it's just too much. Hella, you'll see, okay? It's the 75-day challenge where every single day you have to do two workouts read 10 pages drink a gallon of water and take a progress pic every single day one of those workouts has to be outside and i was at Mich in michigan at the time so it was freezing cold i was i don't know why i wanted to do it but i figured i would be able to get through it if i had like a team around so we called jamal his brother jamal was ready jamal was down okay day one i call ahmad ahmad's like this is so oh you're not you're also not allowed to eat junk food so ahmad was like, this is stupid, like, I don't want to, it's so extreme, like, I don't want to do this for 75 days, which honestly, he was kind of right, it was extreme, but I don't regret doing it at all, but I knew that if I said this one thing, that he would do it, I knew it, I just knew it, I was like, we were FaceTime, because we were long distance at the time, and I was like, boo, like, do you really just want to be regular, like, do you want to be regular, or do you want to, like, take it to the next level, like, we've been, so, oh no, I didn't, like, we've been so regular lately, we've just been so average, in his face, it was like he became possessed, and then he's like, we're doing it, period. Khalas. He just decided in that moment that we're doing it, okay? So any of you friends or family out there, if you ever want Ahmed to do something, just find a way to convince him <laughs> that he's being regular, and that thing is going to be the way of him not being regular. <laughs> but I do think it holds you back sometimes, Boo, because I think that this, this crazy fear of being average or regular creates a lot of self-judgment for you where if you did not have a, a day where you worked out or burnt enough calories, or if there was not a day where, you know, you were able to lift as much as normal, things like that. If there was not a day where, you know, maybe it took you three times to get the audition and not two, like, get it, you get like mad at yourself. And then what ends up happening is that anger translates into your next move, which makes your next move less high, achieve, high achieving as it can be. So it actually creates the outcome of being average because of your negativity, not because you're actually average, you know? So that's something that I feel that you have been working on a lot, is the self-compassion and just not being all or nothing. So yeah. Grace. You like it? I do. <laughs> so this was really fun. We love, love, love this game. Honestly, like, it really helped our relationship, especially at certain points when, we can talk about that later, um, you know, we broke up for a period of time. We'll talk about that later. But this game kind of like got us back together. And if you have any questions that are, maybe are not in this game that you want to ask us, definitely drop them below. Tune in again next time to Heavy Days. Where no topic is off the table. Bye, guys. Don't forget to watch BT Plus, North of the 10 on BT Plus, uh, stream now, it's on. You're like a walking diet. I know, tell your friends, it's a great movie, I'm um, in it, uh, BT Plus, Ahmed Paramount Plus, it. it's a great role job, is play the role of Omar, North of the 10, out now, streaming now, tell your friends, like, comment, share, subscribe. You're so annoying. <laughs> Yalla, go to your workout. You gonna come?